Are you coming to Mysore and looking for some budget friendly staying options which are suitable for your family or your group of friends or even if you are coming solo? So today I am going to solve your problem. We will thoroughly review two best budget friendly staying options in Mysore and I will share which one is my favorite. Amazing. Watch this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe my new channel Nomadi Pranti. In this Explorist vs Zostel, we will compare 10 different factors so it will be easier for you to choose where you want to stay. Both Zostel and Explorist are well within the Mysore city, very well connected. Though the Explorist is walking distance from the palace and on a quieter street than the Zostel. Can't choose one as both the places have the advantages of their location. In Zostel and Explorist, you will get different type of bunk bed options and private rooms. Whereas Zostel is not recommended for families, children below 18 are not allowed. Whereas in Explorist, there is no barrier, it attracts a whole spectrum of travelers. Both are the winners in this segment. In the third segment, we have a clear winner. Wow. The sizes of rooms in Zostel, even in the 8 bed dorms, are more than double in area than the Explorist. The bunk bed rooms in Explorist are a little congested. This point clearly goes to Zostel. Both the places have big drawers under the bed. But I don't know why Zostel asked for extra payment for a lock. The security should be provided, right? Though it's not good to completely believe on those locks, but this extra payment is unacceptable. Explorist on this point. The dorm in Zostel starts from 549, the private rooms are at 1999. The Explorist costs a little higher, dorm at 782 and the rooms at 2800, but still worth it. Why? To know that, stay tuned. But check the prices on Agoda, MMT, Booking.com for more pocket friendly offer. In the Zostel, you get a terrace and a lawn where you can hang out, do networking, or even work. But these places are nowhere in comparison with the lawn of Explorist and the backyard. The open spaces of Explorist have more vibe. I love that. Whenever you choose a hostel, the primary concern should be the basic hygiene. In Explorist, except the private rooms, the washrooms are shared. They have array of toilets and showers, sink and washing machine area. It was neat and clean, well maintained. Whereas in Zostel, only one bathroom is for all the person living in the dorm with shared toilet options and that too on a different floor. I really don't like this part of Zostel. In Zostel and in Explorist, you will find a kitchen. It's equipped with all basic amenities. Amazing. Where you can make your own coffee, tea, or even foods. But follow the kitchen rules and clean the items after you use them. In this segment, Explorist and Zostel, both are the winners. Ambience is the second most important thing after the basic hygiene. It decides where you want to stay. In my mind, I have a clear winner. Check it out and guess. Explorist is housed in a 120 years old heritage house, a tribute to the grandeur of the great Maharaja era. The massive living room, charming wooden pillar, regal architecture and the musical evening is unbeaten. Whereas Zostel is in a modern styled bungalow and they put effort to save a few coconut trees. In both the places you will find a small library, playing arena and the crowd in Zostel is only about 18 plus and not recommended for families. For this segment, my point clearly goes to Explorist. After reviewing all these factors, we have a clear winner. Why do you stay? Let me know that. After exploring Mysore, if you are coming to Kurk, check out these two videos and subscribe to my channel Nomadic Prantik. Bye bye.